Herschel Electronics manufactures security management systems. We integrate access control, video, intrusion detection, ID management. We sell our products worldwide. Been in business for over 25 years specializing specifically in security. We're the only vendor that I'm aware of that has an end-to-end -end solution for identity and access management. That covers both building access or physical access and also computer access, logical access. Um, it's uh, used for private industry and also federal government. Private industry can implement this the way they want to using the elements they want. The U.S. federal government needs to implement it pretty much the way I'm going to describe it because of mandates in uh, HSPD 12, FIPS 201, and the uh, PIB related standards. Identity and access management really raises the bar because I'm no longer going to hand over the card to you until I'm very sure of who you are, and I'm also going to be able to revoke that card at any instant based on new information I receive. I'll show you how this process works. If you look at this graphic here, you notice I have a card issuance on this side and then access to physical and logical systems here. So I'm going to start off with enrollment. I'm going to capture a lot more information than I used to capture. I'll come down here to this screen, if you will, and you'll notice that I'm going to capture basic information, name, and so forth, but I'm also going to get your position or your role in the organization. That'll define certain characteristics for me. I'm going to collect some biometrics from you, some photos. I'm also in the application process, I'm going to ask for your breeder documents. A breeder document, for instance, is a birth certificate. It more positively identifies who you are. And I'm going to scan those and, and collect these different types of documents. You see there's all different kinds that one might, might uh, use to identify who they are. And I'm going to find out who's sponsoring you and, and wants to hire you as this new employee. And put this information in the database. This software then is going to be a uh, process too. It's going to be workflow software to say where we are in the process. For instance, when I enter this information, it goes into an ID management system, the IDMS. It's going to go out, we get an electronic link, and do identity vetting. It might check with federal databases, criminal databases, state, lawsuit, driver's license to see if your driver's license revoked. If you're a driver, for instance, that's important. Um, that information, once your ID has been vetted, will come back to the uh, card management system. The card management system is going to go out and acquire a certificate from a certificate authority. This certificate is using the public key infrastructure, PKI, and that is gonna bring that certificate down. Uh, the certificate authority is kind of like a, a notary public where they are a third party endorser of who you are. Say if you're buying a house, you have a notary public come in and check your ID and, and verify who you are. The certificate authority does that in a way. The card management system is gonna manage that card and the data on it, print the card, encode the card, in one or two steps depending on your system. And now you finally have a card that has your credentials, your photo, your PIN, uh, your certificate, a lot of different, different information on this card. And I have a way now to positively identify or strongly authenticate who I am. If I come over to the Hearst Verification Station, this is on a stand, but you can see the unit is really light and has a TCP IP port in the back for internet access. And I'm gonna go ahead and insert the card. That's factor one, is I have to have a card. It's gonna ask me for my pin, and you see that the pin is scrambled to different positions every time. That prevents me from, or someone from watching me enter my pin and stealing my code. Let me enter my code quickly here. I'm gonna read the card, ask me for my finger, and say access granted. So now I've used three factors to authenticate uh, who I am. Um, you could choose to use these uh, factors differently if you're in private industry in, instead of the government. You can also do a PKI certificate check here, where if you're connected to Ethernet, it'll go out to the certificate authority or the, the OCSP, the Online Certificate Status Protocol, can be checked, or a certificate revocation list, a CRL, can be checked to see whether or not this certificate has been revoked or not. So now we've issued the card and the employee shows up local site ready to use this card. Uh, in the case of the federal government, you may have employees showing up on site saying, hey, I've got my new FIPS card, my new PIV card, uh, what, what now? And here's an example of how you can quickly put that card into, into action. We have a quick credential converter that'll take uh, the employee's old card and privileges and move them to their new card. Pulls the serial number from the card and I search for existing records within Velocity and I'm uh, found my record that's in Velocity and its associated um, privileges and door groups and time zones and that kind of thing. I'm going to say continue. Now it wants to find my new card actually. So I need to go back to this unit. Code again. It's going to authenticate me with three factors again. Fingerprint granted. 
access granted, and it didn't have a photo in this card, so it gave me a message about that. But it did find my name, my agency code, credential number, the sub-agencies, the, um, all this different information came from my card automatically into the access control system, so I don't have to retype any of that. And most importantly, it uh, activates the card in the access control system and moves all my door groups or privi access privileges to this new credential and ask me, what do you want to do with the old card? So you may want the employee to surrender their card at this time. In that case, I would say immediately disable old card. Or you may want uh, them to, the old card to work also for two weeks if you're still installing readers and you, you want to give them uh, some extended time. So very quickly, I've got um, the ability to move the privileges and all the data quickly into the access control system and make that card actually work. So I have a new card. I can present it to any one of you know Hirsch sells many many uh, PIB readers, a variety of them, depending on your situation. And uh, this card is activated with basically uh, three or four mouse clicks. So that's the end-to-end uh, -end solution for identity and access management. Um, we believe we're the only company that uh, produces this in such a complete um, solution form, and uh, it comes from a company people can trust. Hirsch Electronics, we're proven, we're innovative, and we're passionate about security.